Um, if it's all right, cool. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick um, tutorial, guide, whatever you wanna call it, on how to make a keylogger with Project Neptune. So first of all, you wanna go to Google Chrome, download it, type in Project Neptune on Google, extract it to your desktop, and have it here, open it up. <coughs> Once open, you can. So first of all, you want to um, you can change this to whatever you want. You can change it to 50, 1, and I'm going to put mine to. I'm not really going to use it. Um, for the email to send keystroke logs, you want to put in your Gmail account. Gmail only. So if you don't have one, make one. This is my junk Gmail account. You want to put in your Gmail password as well. So it knows where it's going. Also, you want to disable your antiviruses before you do all this, as it does delete the keylogger when you make it. Alright. <coughs> I've sent the is valid and working. You can check your email to see if it went through or not. I'm not going to do that. Uh, you want to come to installation and click system file folders. Click that, then you want to go to extra options. If you want, you can change the message like I'm going to put mine like a like I'm uh, port forward automatically. You can do whatever one you want. I'm just going to do this as an example. So they open the program and that's what comes up. You click to say that's what comes up when they open it, when they've downloaded it. Server creation description, you can put anything. Same with the company, same with the copyright. Um, for mutual exclusion, just keep pressing this for a bit. And then click generate new server. You can put it wherever you want. <clears throat> I'm going to Let's save it on my desktop. I'm just gonna name mine. Just remember you can name yours whatever you want. So there it is. There's my keylogger. I'm not gonna open it because that's like putting a keylogger on myself in a way. Um I'm actually going to make a new folder. And drag that in there. From there, you want to go back to Project Neptune. Hold on, let me just. I just don't know what I've done here. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that things too. Anyways, um, you want to go to. Uh, what do you want to do? Yeah, well, this my old one. You want to um go to File Binder after that. And when it comes to this page, you just want to right click and so right click it and click add file. From there, you want to find your keylogger. So as I've saved it on there on my desktop, I'm going to look for the port forward file. There it is. Click on it and then click port forward. Click open. Then from there, you want to click that and click compile server. And then name it port forward again. And it will come up. Sorry, no. Name it, I'll name mine like port forward one and then there and then you're done then you can close this or down if you want open up your file and then that will be your keylogger there that is your keylogger that I don't know what it is but this is your real keylogger so name it different but you can replace it I'm not sure if that would work but you do that and then you can do whatever you want like create another file and then put it in there, upload it, give it to people and say it um, port forward automatically or whatever sort of hack you want to do. You can make it more legit by changing the picture. You can, all, you can do many things to make it look legit. You can scam people, say it's a RuneScape hack, change the message on it. You can do whatever you want. It's a great keylogger. Hope hope I helped you guys by um, with
Hope I hope making this tutorial or guide and I hope it becomes useful for you. If you do get in any trouble, I am not the one to blame. Thank you, hope I helped you. Have a good time with it. Also subscribe and like and comment. See you.